Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in to my channel. As you see from the title of this video, I am going to be talking about um, people with entitlement issues when it comes to the planner community. Now, I don't just witness this in the planner community. Uh, I witness it with any type of company who releases products and they can release all these great products and then there's those people that say, but what about this? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And it's like, it's very, very irritating. It's very disheartening. And it's those group of people that can ruin it for the rest of us. I'm in this planning community. I'm like neck deep. I used to say knee deep, but I am neck deep. I love the planning community. I would say 98% of the girls I've encountered, whether it be through my YouTube, Facebook groups, Instagram, mostly Twitter have all been awesome. Very supportive, you know, like my pictures, comment. I do the same back because I mean, this for me is very, very awesome. Um, but there are those group of people who just are not satisfied. And I want to use Mambi for an example, because that's what inspired me to make this video. Now, as you may know, if you are a fan of the Happy Planner, you've probably saw, probably seen the Periscope where Stephanie was, uh, Stephanie Fleming, who was the you know owner, was Periscoping all of these new products that were coming out. And I was just watching like, oh, I gotta have that, I gotta have that. And I was very excited. Like every time Mandy releases a new product for the Happy Planner, I always think it's a great product. It's like, oh, I needed this and I, didn't know they that they created this and so now I need it. Um, so as I was watching the Periscope, I was actually watching on my computer. I was not watching on my phone, so I couldn't comment. Um, I noticed a lot of people with entitlement issues, and I'm sitting there and I'm shaking my head and I'm like, "What is wrong with you?" It's four years later and we're still here. I wouldn't say we're still here. I would say we have moved, but we have moved in the wrong direction. This video, I have had people over the last maybe couple of years say, have you ever thought about doing an updated video for entitlement in the planning community? And I've always said, I don't need to. It still applies. But I have a couple of people more recently say, oh, no, 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 we've gotten worse. And we have. We have gotten worse. And I, I say we because I'm in the planning community, but I ain't got worse. If anything, I, I've gotten better because, one, I don't expect a lot from companies to begin with. Um, two, I'm grateful for anything that a company releases. And it's something that I want. It's something that I want to buy. Um, and I realized that companies really don't have to show us anything up front. They can just slap some things on their website and say, here you go. You know, and companies can be rude. They wouldn't probably want to keep customers, but co companies can be rude and be like, if you don't like it, don't buy. That's why I could never be a product business owner where like I have to sell a good and you review it because I probably, I would not be in business very long because somebody would get cussed out. So here we are. I'm just drinking my water out of my Starbucks cup. So I'm trying to be more hydrated. Um, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about where the planning community is four years later. It seems like the more things change, the more they stay the same. You know, I, I realized that the more grown women get, the older they get, the more childish they become. It's like, it's like, an alternate version of the curious case of Benjamin Button. It's really, it's really weird, you know? And so, um, my first video, I will link that down below because you guys saw the clip from the beginning. That first clip was 2016 and I was talking about the Happy Planner because that four years ago, that was the only brand I was using. Happy Planner, I was probably using some Recollections Washi. It's kind of funny how back now, four years later, I'm back in Happy Planner. Uh, but Simply Gilded is my thing. I will be talking about Simply Gilded, not about the company, but the people who buy 
from Simply Gilded. Cause y'all need a little mirror. I won't mention names because I'm not trying to have an argument in my DMs. Not that I would have an argument in my DMs because I'm not giving anybody that type of energy in 2021, but for this to protect the guilty, I'm going to not say names. <laughs> so I haven't really noticed anything from the Happy Planner as far as people just clawing their way at products. One, because Stephanie Fleming left the Happy Planner in 2020. Um, she's retired, she's living the good life, she's on the beach. She is where I wanna be when I retire, you know? Um, just She's just living good. She looks like she's enjoying herself. She looks good. She looks happier. I mean, that lets me know that it had to be a stressful environment. So I don't really see too much because, you know, Happy Planner is not really, they're not doing live streams like they used to. Um, and in the Facebook groups, I don't know if I'm missing any supposed drama, but I haven't seen any, you know? So I haven't really seen any entitlement from, you know, from members, um, Happy Planner customers to say. Let's talk about Simply Gilded. Because ever since I've been buying Simply Gilded, I have seen people act like they have the audacity to tell people how to run their business and they have no stock in the company. Now, let's back up a little bit. Does a, does a company thrive because you purchase from them? Absolutely. You know, like any of like Happy Planner, EC, Simply Gilded, Moxie Life, Day Designer, um, any planner you can think of, Michaels, The Recollection, any planner you can think of, okay? Passion Planner, they would not thrive if people didn't buy from them. Am I correct? Yes, I'm correct. But at the same time, just because you spend money with the company does not mean you get to be, doesn't mean you are entitled, doesn't mean you are special, doesn't mean you are deserving of special treatment because you spend money. When I spend money, I just expect my product with the company. I don't expect anything else. I don't expect you to shout me out. I don't expect you to send me a coupon code. If I genuinely like your product, only thing I expect from you is to get my product, whether that's me sh um, shopping for it online or going to the store. I just want to exchange money for goods. That's all I want to do. That's the only thing I am entitled to is my product. Now, the reason I am bringing up Simply Gilded is because her live streams, they're a lot. They are. It, it's to the point where I don't watch her live streams live. I watch them after the fact. One, because the way Instagram has changed the live streams, you can't see comments. It's a gift and a curse. So I watch them after, you know, and I'll, I'll hear what Irene has to say about her company. And, um, you know, and I want to see the product. I want to see the products. I want to get my list ready. I want to get my list ready. So um, every time Irene has a release, you know, there's never, I've never seen anything for myself from Irene that's, you know, when I see it, I'm just like, I'm not buying any of that. I, I have yet to say I'm not buying any of that because it's not my thing, you know? There's always something. There may be something I don't like, but there's probably 50 more things that I do like, okay? So it's funny to me because Irene could come on and say, you guys, I have a release that's coming out. And she's so proud of her release, as she should be. She created, I have great, you know, I have a great product coming out. It's this color scheme and this and that. You guys have been wanting this. I love what she says, you guys have been wanting this because that means she listens to her customers. So she said, she shows it and I'm like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. And then when I used to watch it live, you have these people that say, where's this color? Where's that? Where is this? When are you going to make that? Where is this at? Where is it? Why? 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 How come? Why are we doing this in a live stream? If you are that concerned about where a bold blue washi is or a red one or a yellow one or whatever color you've been itching like a crackhead um i why don't you email customer service or why don't you dm irene in a respectful way and say hey i love your product like or like just say hey in the future do you plan on doing this color do you plan on doing this design 
to me, that's a better way to ask a, a company instead of being in, you know, the live stream saying, where is this? Where is that? It's like a mother asking a child where they misplaced something. Like, you had it. Where is it? You know, I'm just, I don't, I don't get the entitlement here. I, I really do not get the entitlement here. And there are people who think because they spend, you know, their husband's 401k savings on washi every single month that that means they deserve a certain color scheme. I will never understand this. I will never understand. I'm trying to figure out where y'all got the cojones um, and the backbone um, to demand from a company because you spend with the company. You know how much money I spend at Target? Target doesn't owe me anything. Let's talk about how much money I spend at, we have a grocery store here called Bonds. Every week I'm in that grocery store dropping $300. They don't owe me anything. I don't owe, I don't, I'm not going to tell them, well, since I spent this much, you owe me this product. No. Because I can guarantee you, none of these women are emailing Target, Walmart, Michaels saying, when are you getting this? Where is this at? They're not doing it. They're not doing it. I will say this because I've been seeing it enough. And Irene did two live streams and I was told, You've got to watch the live stream, Kristen. You've got to watch it because Irene spoke up. And I love Irene. I love Irene. She's a great business person. She responds to DM. She's very nice. I think Irene got a little fed up one time. And I was like, yes. Because sometimes you got to get fed up. And sometimes you got to let people know. You got to stay humble, but you got you to gotta let a motherfucker know sometimes. Okay. Um, she did a stream and someone asked her, is she ever going to stop doing pink? Irene's aesthetic is not her aesthetic if there's no pink involved. So she said, okay, hold on. I'm never going to stop doing pink. Pink is my aesthetic. If you don't like pink, this is probably not the subscription box or company for you. So what Irene does, um, and I think EC does this, sent out this in, she sent out this end of the year survey. And this end of the year survey, <laughs> you can type like, what do you, what do you want to how to make the company better? You know, you can send in suggestions. I, I sent in suggestions. I, I never, I didn't bash. I just said, this is what I think you can do. It doesn't matter what I said. I know I wasn't rude. Um, someone said, people had said she's too chatty on her live streams. I think it's funny how you think somebody is too talkative on their platform. And so she came on a live stream one time and she said, I know you guys think I'm too chatty. You can wait until after, watch the replay and fast forward. That's something I would say. That's something I would say. I just applaud it because you know what? If you don't like the way someone is doing something, then don't watch. If you don't like the way someone produces a product, then don't buy. My whole my whole, the moral of the story with this video is that who the hell do y'all think y'all are to think you're entitled because you spend money? You're not. Irene could come out today, and I mentioned this when I did my happy planner video. Irene can come out and from the very lightest color of the rainbow to the absolute darkest. So she has every hue that you can think of. She can say, hey, I have a washi collection coming out. It is ginormous. You are going to put your mortgage into this. She can easily say something like that. Like, I have every color hue of the rainbow that you can think of. If there's a color that you want, I got it. Like, she can come up. And then there would be a woman or two that would say, well, where is this? You ain't got that color in there. Oh, you think I'm lying? I'm not lying. It would happen. It would happen because... There are some people that are just not satisfied with nothing, you know? And, you know, I, I really think that, one, businesses are 
to, to, like I said, I couldn't be a business owner because you, one, you have to have very, very thick skin and you have to not take things personal. But at the same time, it's it's hard to not take it personal, especially when the product is your baby and you you designed it. Like you didn't just buy artwork, you designed it. You know, how you, how you want the colors to blend and how you want the design to look with the color. You've designed this. And so it's kind of hard to not take it personal. But see, it could be me. It could never be me. Because someone will be cussed out. I would just be like, I don't know who you're talking to. Just don't buy from me. And then that's how you lose customers. So, no. You, you have to draw a line somewhere. But, you know, I just... I just want people to be more humble because one, you're worried about washi tape. We're in the middle of a thing. I don't want. I don't want to get my video flat. We're in the middle of a thing. We know what we're in the middle of. Um, worry about that. You know. You're, you're worried about the wrong thing. In the words of Kanye, oh, let's talk about the entitlement when companies raise their prices. <laughs> A company will raise their price because people failed economics and don't know about what supply and demand means. And they will blame the company because they can't buy it anymore. They'll say, well, you raise it. You know, I'm going through a hard time. I can't subscribe to this. I can't buy this anymore. Well, the company is not going to say, well, okay, Susan. Since you're broke and since you don't have a job, we're going to keep it the same. That's not the way businesses work. Businesses are not in the business, contrary to what you might believe and contrary to what you might think. Businesses are not in the business of, of helping you save money. They want to make money. And, you know, with everything that happened in 2020, with jobs lost and everything, a lot of people had to stop buying extracurricular things they didn't need because they lost jobs. You know, and so companies suffered because a company you may have shopped with all the time, you had to stop buying all the time, maybe once in a while. So imagine if not only one of you do that, but 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 people do that, you know, the company then starts to suffer. So in order to make up the loss of revenue, they may have to raise prices. But you get mad saying, I can't do this. I can't afford it. You know, money is tight. How do you think a business feels right now? My thing is this. Everyone has a sob story as to why they can't pay for something. Everyone has a sob story as to why a business shouldn't do this. Businesses don't care about your sob stories. They, they really don't. Businesses do not care about your sob stories because a sob story does not put food on the table. A sob story does not get me more money. You know, it's like the same thing when, to me, it's like when businesses on the same, like, same scale as that is when a company will email you and say, we want to send you a product and you say, I want money. And we'll say, well, we'll give you exposure. Exposure doesn't put food. I can't go to the grocery store with exposure. I can't pay a bill with exposure. It's the same thing, you know. So the entitlement with these women, it has gotten worse over the years. You're supposed to get better. You're not supposed to get worse. As we get older, we are supposed to be better. We are supposed to learn from our mistakes. I feel that I have gotten better because if you guys know me, you know, I I used to drag people for filth on this here YouTube. I don't do it anymore. You know, I like to think that I have gotten better in one, in how I respond to people. Two, not really getting involved in any job between two people. It's like, I might have some thoughts, but I'll keep it to myself. I would like to think that I have gotten better in a lot of things in my life, but a lot of y'all have gotten worse. A lot of y'all gotten worse, and that is not the way of life. You know, you should be grateful that you that you have the option to buy some washi and not buy some. Because there are people out here who are probably selling off their washi collections because they have a mortgage to pay. There are people probably out here I'm selling off all their stickers. I've seen it. Like, money is tight. I got to sell off all my planner stuff. You know, I have to, you know, people are people selling their cars and people that have to move out of their homes because it's been foreclosed on. People who, you know, have to move in with their parents or move in with relatives or everybody becomes roommates because they can't afford it. Be grateful that you are even in a position where you can say the only thing you have to give up is washing. Be grateful that you are in a position where you have Wi-Fi to watch this video right now.
that's what you need to look out for. Like I try to, it's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have negative feelings because that is your right. Don't deny yourself negative feelings. But you know what? At the end of the day, get up. That's that's my whole thing. Like people are entitled about the wrong thing. Like you are, you think you're entitled to a product or you think you're entitled from a company. No, you're not. You're not entitled. No. You're entitled to air. You're entitled to water. You're entitled. You're entitled to to food. But you're not entitled to washi. You're not entitled to planners. You're not entitled to stickers. That is a luxury. Yes, a planner is a luxury. You won't die without a planner. You won't die without stickers. You won't die. You can say that all you want to. You can say you need it. But if you needed it so badly, you wouldn't be hiding packages from your husband. With that said, I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to come back in four more years and do another video. I don't. I don't want to come back and do a video after this. I don't. Can y'all please watch this video? And if it hits close to home, change the way you view things, okay? All right. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Plan with me's go up on Mondays. Cleaning videos go up on Thursdays. Sometimes I might throw an extra video in like this. And I post on my community page every single Monday. All right. And we're going to start back doing Girls Night In on Fridays. All right. There's so much to talk about. So much to talk about. All right. I am going to get out of here and I will see you all next time.